Hello, my name is Ayo, and today I'll be sharing with you an essay that I made on a saying in my family, which is, you want rice or you want steak with that rice. There's a very important saying in my family that, has, that was first told to my dad. He was told this saying when he was young, and it stuck with him ever since. In this essay, I'll tell you a little bit about the saying, what it meant to my grandpa, my dad, and me, and some other things. This saying is very helpful, and you might benefit from knowing it. To start, there had to be someone who said this saying. Grandpa Hugh Washington Jr. was the one who said, you have to decide if you want rice or you want steak with that rice. Grandpa Hugh was, is my dad's dad, and he lived in Rochester, New York. He said this to my dad, Baoku, when he was in his freshman year of high school in 1985. Grandpa Hugh made the saying up himself. He said it to my dad to let him know that it was time for him to start to be responsible for doing the things that he needed to do. My dad was going to need to start to be responsible for doing the things that he needed to do to get into college and live his life, and my grandfather was not going to leave that. He would not be over my dad's shoulder making sure that he did the work or push my dad along that path. Grandpa Hugh was only going to put food on the table, give my dad a place to live, and support him. Obviously, my grandpa wanted my dad to be prepared. And this is my dad, and this is my grandfather. In addition to that, my dad has some thoughts about the saying too. My dad thinks that his dad was trying to motivate him. My dad thinks that Grandpa Hugh was trying to motivate him to do well in school, and he was trying to make a connection between doing well in school and well in life. If he did well in school, then my dad could make an amount of money that would help my dad get more out of life. Grandpa Hugh was trusting him to do that for work for himself. The saying benefited my dad a lot. It motivated him to attend school, not miss classes, pay attention, do his homework, and think about ways that he could take care of himself and not sh have to struggle financially. My dad used this saying in a lot of ways. He used it to guide him in selecting his major in college, looking for trades, developing strategies to make money, and enjoy life. He also used it to motivate other people. In this saying, rice means surviving, and steak and rice means surviving and thriving. My grandpa wanted my dad to survive and thrive, and so did my dad. In the end, my father did a lot of good things with the saying. Furthermore, I really like the saying myself. To me, the saying give, is giving you a mindset of what you need to be able to help our people. It's good to worry about others, and you have to be able to take care of yourself as well. I think we'll keep I think I'll keep this saying in my mind whenever I'm doing work. Even though I will not be going to college for years, it is good to start learning how to take care of myself now than later. I'm super glad that Grandpa Hugh told my dad the saying. If my dad had not heard this saying, I don't know who or where he would be right now. Overall, I think that this thing will help me do the same thing that my dad did and even more. Now you know what the saying is, what it means, how it helped my dad, and how it's going to help me. I think that this saying will be passed down in my family for a long time and lots of generations will benefit from it. I'm glad that my dad told my told me the saying because now not only my family can learn from it, you and your family can learn from it too. And that's it. Thanks for watching.